Hi! In this video, we'll learn the main aspects of what cybersecurity really is. Let's break down the word cybersecurity. Cyber means that it's relating in some way to computers or computer networks. Security stands for measures that are taken to protect against spying or attacks. Putting these together give us a word that simply means protecting all things related to computers and computer networks. It sounds simple enough, but there is a lot that needs to be protected in this day and age of growing technology and connected devices. Computers can be used for almost any task you can think of. We rely on our computers to store and send a lot of personal information, including health records and financial information. It's important that this information stays private, or else it can be used to hurt or trap a person into paying a ransom. You may have seen some of these issues in the news. There were two big cybersecurity attacks back in 2017 that spearheaded the need for more protective measures. One of these was the Equifax database breach. This database was broken into by hackers and over 145 million people had their personal information, like birthdays, social security numbers, and bank accounts exposed. This put them at a risk of identity theft. Another attack in the same year was the WannaCry ransomware attack. In this attack, hackers locked down computer systems all over the world and demanded payment to unlock them. There were 300,000 devices that were affected, including critical hospital equipment. The hospital equipment ended up malfunctioning and medical records became inaccessible. So these hospitals were forced to cancel scheduled procedures and disrupted access to medical care on a large scale. One major reason for an increase in cyber attacks is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is the network of devices in our world that have the ability to connect and exchange data. So while it used to just be computers that were connected to the Internet, we now have all kinds of devices that are collecting and sending data, including thermostats, cars, and even toaster ovens. In fact, there are over 30 billion devices that are connected in this Internet of Things, and this number continues to grow. This only makes us more vulnerable to cyber attacks. With so many of our everyday devices connected, it's possible for hackers to remotely break in and steal our data or tamper with our devices. Hackers have demonstrated that it's possible to tamper with airplane control systems and even medical pacemakers by exploiting network vulnerabilities. This could have devastating consequences. So it's important that we make sure these devices are secure from malicious hackers. Throughout this course, we'll learn how to prevent these kind of cyber attacks. We'll learn how to secure systems with firewalls and other security measures. We'll go over security best practices like strong passwords and multi-factor authentication so you can stay safe as you use the internet. And we'll learn how to find and fix system vulnerabilities and how to respond to cyber attacks to minimize damage. All right, well, let's get started.